Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for November. Thank you so much for being here. So, 1st of November, new month, new energy. Yet, we're starting off this month with <laughs> Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio up until the 20 slash 21st of November and then a little bit of shadow period after that. What can you expect during this Mercury retrograde? Well, you can expect old energy to come back up. Maybe certain emotions and feelings you have been putting away, you know, locking away in the closet. <laughs> They're about to may or may not resurface. Depends on where you're at when you're healing, you know, with your healing pathway. If you're quite far, then you'll be good. But it could also arise all feelings and emotions within people from your past, you know, within other people. So what can happen is that people come out and communicate with you. Other hand, what you could have is a release of emotions. So you're releasing a certain connection with somebody finally after all those years. And it's very freeing. That's what I'm feeling for you guys also. Um, watch out with signing certain contracts that you know keep you bonded for quite some time um, there we go also traveling make sure you leave in time you know leave some time for certain roadblocks and stuff to come up so you're just in time when, you, when you're when it comes to certain important meetings and everything like that but you know the drill you know it's just you know because it is in scorpio it's really about the in, in, internal emotional energy and world basically and that's why it's important to understand that if you're oh, you know more emotional than normal or you find yourself thinking about things that you haven't thought about for quite some long time that you're not questioning too much but allowing the energy to be there and you know just flow with it and don't do anything stupid <laughs> But you'll be good. I I'm pretty sure you'll be, be, be just fine, Aries. I know you guys. So here we have a beautiful, happy change coming in for you. I love this card so much. Your angels have heard your prayers and have bonded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great success will now be possible. You may need sorry you may need to make some rapid decisions due to sudden suddenness sorry suddenness of activity be confident and trust the guidance you receive so you might be you know forced to make some quick and rapid decisions make sure you tune in first what is your intuition telling you to do because that's very important don't just jump in hat first thinking oh it looks shiny you know it must be silver or it m might be this or it might be that it, just go beyond what it looks like go oh, and tune in what what does it feel like you know what's your intuition telling you about something hold back a little bit view it you know with open eyes and an open heart and then make your decision because things are moving quickly for you guys it's, it's been around you guys for for quite some time now you know um we have like two really good um, readings for you before uh, so it is there is a lot of movement for you aries there is yet it's also asking you to um not jump in you know but make sure that you you know, take a step back and look over the details very important just view the details carefully all right if it's for you it's meant for you it will be here you know in a couple weeks as well so a happy change change is coming in it's also because your prayers have been heard i don't know what you've been praying about or with what type of manifestation you've been trying to do or make or create in your life but it is working and your prayers are being heard and answered that's the card basically uh, indicating for you guys so let's move on to the tarot i'm having some trouble with my speech so if i come over like i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> you know <laughs> it's mercury retrograde but 
uh, I do, I am hearing, you know, what I want to say. I know what I want to say, but it's not coming out completely fluid right now. So I'm sorry about that. Let's ring the bell. It's also activating your third eye, eye chakra and that's helping you to trust your intuition a little bit more Aries for the month of November all right let's jump in ten of wands I was staring at it and I wanted to come out so putting down the burdens something has kept you distracted Aries something has kept you distracted has kept you away from what you were actually you know what you actually wanted to do maybe it was a type of job you know when you first started off full a part-time and then they asked you to go full-time and then you didn't really have that much space for i don't know your other project or something you were actually you know trying to make money from this job to try and start something on the side or maybe it has to do with family or something else um so i feel like a distraction has kind of blindsided you feel like you haven't really had that much space to um just explore you know be your adventurous airy side to come out but you're putting it down so there's something you know being removed during this mercury retrograde for you to have that open vision again it's ten of wands i mean it's the ending of that era ending of this you see the hangman and it came out in reverse i don't really read reversals but the fact that it came out in reverse does have great meaning when it comes to this combination here we go this very clear ten of wands hangman page of wands you see this is the adventurous side of self this is having you see, just look at the difference this person is completely covered you know they had it can't even see where he's going because he's so covered with so many wands so many up you know up i don't know responsibilities distractions expectations and here is a person who has room space basically so starting off a new journey new pathway something that fits you way better aries here we go four of swords and king of cups you've taken a break taken some rest and also by following your heart's true desire basically your emotions your feelings something is way more connected to your to the soul all right to your soul you're doing that with soul you're doing it with passion basically is what i'm hearing for others of you you might be dealing with a water sign and that person is showing up as the king of cups meaning that the level of energy that the connection between the two of you is very strong well at least from their side towards you here we have the tower and you might be surprised about that somebody might come out of the blue with their emotions and feelings you're like wait what what now <laughs> uh wait a minute i need to sit down for this one i don't know what wait what <laughs> you know like that but you've been feeling for what huh <laughs> we've been friends for like six years and now you want to come and talk about your emotional feelings that, okay <laughs> i don't know it's something like that i'm getting from it but the king of cups with the tower here we have that the nine of swords with the six of swords okay there is a shake up happening because that's also what the scorpio season does it really is open you know, up our eyes to the reality of things and really how things really were and what things really are how they really are and that shake up you know it's, it's it might be a moment of like it mm, i'm sorry i have to breathe because <laughs> this energy is scattered okay it's because of mercury but it might have you in your energy you know in this energy for the nine of swords overthinking feeling like oh my 
gosh like what am i supposed to do with this and just don't know you know what what am where am i supposed to go with that feeling overwhelmed maybe you're having nightmares maybe you've been dreaming about a person that you thought you know was long gone and then you have a dream about them and then it got you all confused but what's happening after that with the six of swords is that you're moving into common what is um mentally this is just a very short shock period of time maybe it's just you all of a sudden realize something there's not necessarily something that happens you know or a person involved it's sometimes it's a realization and then you're like wait what and it unravels 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 right and then it's like wait huh you know like that so then you have the six of swords you're moving into calmer waters and also seeing um the pot you know the um the positive side of it it's like okay well at least now i know now all the cards are out on the table now i know where to go with this so you also instantly after that shake up you move into common waters again some of you may all of a sudden your anxiety is rising up and you're like you have no idea why it's happening that way it's because your certain emotions have to come back up during this season so you can deal with them you see you can heal them and also be patient with this journey be patient with your healing pathway you know not everything can just be resolved in one day Sagittarius season by the time Sagittarius season comes along you'll be moving into that common waters two of pentacles king of pentacles as well so it's Some of you are actually moving. I don't know if it's overseas, but it could just be moving to a different state or moving to a different city or something like that, to a different type of side of town. Sometimes it's already a big change and you may be having double feelings about it. You know, there's some pros, there's some cons about it. Um, but they show me that it's actually something that is very good for, for your future. You know, it has a lot of potential for a stable, um, home life you know it's like you will feel a peace with over there so if you're doubting about that or having any um, concerns about that they're showing me that that's actually going to be very helpful for you very peaceful over there um for others of you who are not moving let me see wow there we go okay that's the thing yeah there's some there's some um there's the energy here there will be a moment for, that just wakes you up in the month of november in this month actually because it's the first right now but the emperor look at that coming together with the king of pentacles you're reclaiming your own personal power again you're focusing on building your own foundation maybe you just recently had a shake up had a breakup maybe even you know moved out and now you're sort of concerned about what is it gonna be how what is it gonna look like how it's gonna go and i see like you're getting back into alignment with yourself with your inner emperor i mean you're coming out as the emperor i love that Here we go. The Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? That's a quick moving energy. Yeah. It's a shake up, but it's because it's it's also guiding you into a new direction. You see the will fortune is here. Aries for the month of November. Show me what Aries for the month of November. It's very positive, Aries very positive oh yeah okay two of wands with the strength yeah you're overcoming that you're overcoming the fear you're overcoming almost an addiction this could be too yes of course you know it could be drinking or something like that but 
it could also very well mean the way that you give yourself to others the amount of energy and 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 stuff you give to others and how much you you know leave for yourself all those things can 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 change but you're overcoming something that just wasn't in your best interest something that wasn't in alignment with you that's what you're leaving behind all right let me see if i can get something out for love oh that was quick <laughs> you see you overall it's going to make you a lot happier so let this tower come down let the universe shake you like wake you up literally let it happen because it's all for you it's it's really for your higher good because everything after that is already written basically it's just about the timing it's about trusting in that things come come into fruition for you all right here we go three of cups celebration a reason to celebrate seven of cups in reverse all right also oh what i'm hearing right now that's that's clear okay there we go what sets you free is that also you're setting boundaries with people it's like hey listen i'm not an option all right i'm not just a option i'm not just a cup i am the cup okay like i am me and it's if you want me then all of me right it's not i'm not just a option on saturday and then on tuesday i don't hear anything from you till like i don't know when a week later or something like that it's like don't treat me as an option and you see here we have the ten of cups coming after that so the seven of cups and then into the ten of cups so i do feel like you have a lot of suitors when it comes to love soon but there's just this one cup and you're exploring you know and for my singles you out there you know you know testing the waters a little bit here and there but you're not gonna settle for anything just because it's a person just because it's a cup it's like no i got my own cup i'm the king of cups you know you have you have more than enough energy for yourself you don't need to gain that from anything it's just like you want to make sure you choose the right decision you know because there is there are some things around you yeah there are some some options around you that are not that pure you know certain people with not that much you know pure attention but you also have people with great attention with you aries and use your intuition with picking the right one if it looks too much to your past relationship then you already know that's not your pathway anymore move on right and be open for anything else to come true because there is new energy that wants to come in for you with the wheel of fortune as well with the ace of cups the ten of cups just underneath that around that is some lower frequency but it's just a test it's like okay aries you're gonna move back here or you're gonna go for this and this could be business related as well it doesn't necessarily have to be just you know love or anything like that but it's about the choices you make i mean it's both a 10 but which one do you choose you know it's important i have a picture in mind but also allow it's it's not about what it looks like on the outside it's not what other people like you to do or like you to see or who they want you to be with it's not about that it's about how they how it makes you feel on your inner body does it connect with you on the soul's level then gives you or provides you a home feeling within self is it in alignment do you have can you completely take off all your masks and just be your pure natural self and still have that person stand next to you or still have that job fit you like a glove you know that's where it's about right now it's about the true true self the truth basically so uh, that's a powerful message but don't be afraid for anything that leaves your life it was meant to happen because any some new things need to want to come in but sometimes the old first needs to be cleared out you're not right back if you're you know having a night and you're thinking about somebody you haven't thought about for a long time you thought you were over it you are over it it's just 
coming back up so you can release the last part of the energy it's not like you are taking 10 steps back all of a sudden i don't want you guys to feel like that this month because it, it can trick you into thinking that so remember this reading remember what i told you it's just a night or it's just a couple days and it will pass if you allow it to if you don't cling on to it but let it just come by and you know move away like a boat it's just passing i mean we can wave from the but we're not getting on the boat we're just waving you know from distance like bye <laughs> have a nice life right <laughs> all right that's that's a little bit what it is if you're feeling yourself caught up in a certain energy areas just remember you're not on the boat the boat is passing by we're waving at the boat okay we're just waving cute but bye <laughs> you know no hard feelings <laughs> have a nice day but i'm staying here because i got i got places i gotta go you know people i gotta see and stuff i'm going places when i aries my Aries energy. Okay. Let me calm down a little bit because this energy is way too intense. I'm going to put three cards out on the table. You can pick your extra message for the month of November. Use your intuition to guide you towards your card. You might even, you know, connect to two cards or all three of them, but mostly, you know, we'll focus on one. But. There are no rules when it comes to this. Just follow your intuition. Three cards for my Aries. Okay. Two, three. I'm gonna ring the bell. First card, Aries. Peace. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. That's a beautiful card. Okay. Taking that message. Then we have Medicine Woman. Some of you are healers. You are divine power. Sorry, you are divine. Can I start one time? <laughs> you are a channel for divine healing power, Aries. You are a channel for divine healing power. So some of you may be doing Reiki or anything in that order. But some of you are just channeling divine healing power and you hold a certain light within yourself so if you enter a room people can pick up on your energy and you give them something naturally all right card number three bodies of water spend time near lake sorry spend time near water such as a lake river or the ocean to recharge your own batteries that's what they're asking you all right so drink a lot of water be around a lot of water maybe be in a lot of water physically it's all very helpful it's all very purifying to just release some of that energy that might decide to show up all right don't be afraid just allow it to happen because you've got great things coming for you and happening for you Aries. so I love you guys so much and I'll be back soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if that's something you would like to do. <laughs> or if, if you haven't already done it. All right. I'm so bad at this right now. Okay, let me just stop this reading. I love you guys. See you soon, Aries. Bye.